Welcome to chapter six. Gestures are a great way to provide an intuitive user experience in your app. The React Native Gesture Handler library provides built-in native components that can handle gestures. It recognizes pan, tap, rotation, and other gestures using the platform's native touch handling system. In this chapter, we'll add two different gestures using this library. Double tap to scale the size of the emoji sticker and pan to move the sticker around the screen so that the user can place the sticker anywhere on the image. We will also use reanimated library to animate between gesture states. Okay, so here we are in our app. And by the way, something very important is that the template, when you create a new Expo app, already comes with React Native Gesture Handler and Reanimated Library. And you can double check this by going to the package JSON of your app and you'll find React Native Reanimated. If you don't have this dependency on your app, just go ahead and install it. You can find instructions in the documentation. So in this case, I already have Reanimated and Gesture Handler. So make sure that you have these two installed. Now let's close the package JSON. To get the gesture interactions to work in the app, we need to wrap the entry point of our application in a gesture handler root view. I'm already kind of wrapping my root layout in here. So instead of using this empty tag, I'll use the gesture handler root view component and I'll close the tag as well. Okay, notice that this is coming from gesture handler and now let me hit save. Now to make sure that this is taking the entire space available on my screen, I'll add a style with flex of one. Next step is going to be animating my sticker component. So here I have my emoji sticker. An animated component looks at the style property of the component and determines which values to animate and apply the updates to create an animation. Let's import animated from React Native Reanimated. This animated component allows us to animate components like views, text, scroll views, or images in this case. Let's go down here. And because I want to animate this image, let's go ahead and say animated.image. Now we are getting a TypeScript error in here. And it says that the type string is not assignable to a type image source prop type. So we can cast this by using this type from React Native. And this would get rid of the error. Another thing that I'll do now that I'm here, it's apply a resized mode to the image. To make sure that the image always looks good, let's apply the contain. Cool. So now I'll go to the top of my file and I'll import gesture and gesture detector. These methods come from React Native Gesture Handler and allows us to detect touch input like double tap. I'll go ahead and complement my import from React Native Reanimated and I'll import as well use animated style, use shared value, and with spring. So we want to be changing the size of the image. And that means that we need to be changing the height and width of the image, depending on the gesture of the user. Now, if we were to use use a state, for example, to track this height and width state, uh, that would trigger a re-render every time that we that these values change. So in this case, we use use shared value. Use shared value basically is like use a state. But when this value changes, we won't be triggering a re-rendering. Instead, we can use these values to animate the view in an optimal manner. So inside the emoji sticker, I'll create this variable scale image using use shared value, passing the image size as the initial value. So as you can see here, this is a number, and this is going to be the initial value. Now, when we want to access this value, we can say dot value, and this will be the value that is going to be changing depending on the gestures of the user. All right. So after this, I will create a tab gesture handler using gesture. We are importing this from React Native Gesture Handler and we can say number of taps. So I'm setting this to be two. And when the user does that, we want to start this logic. So when the user double taps on the sticker, we want to increase the size to the double, right? But if the size was already the double of the image, when the user does double tap, we want to decrease the size again. So that's why we are validating here if the scale value is different than the image size times two. If this is the case, then we want to set it to the scale image dot value times two. Otherwise, we want to set it to the previous value, which is going to be the same thing divided by two. Now we're using math round because we don't want to have decimals. 
After that, I will create an image style using the use animated style. We can use this from reanimated. And this is going to return the style that is going to be changing depending on the gestures, right? We can pass a width sprint, which is going to create the animation with a nice spring animation. So this is going to take the width with spring to this value, which is the scale image dot value. Okay, so we have the new animated style and we have the double tap gesture. Now we need to apply it in here. So I will wrap this into a gesture detector and this gesture detector, it's getting the gesture with the double tap. And then in the animated image, I'm passing the image style, which is an, an animated style that is going to be changing depending on the scale image value. Let me cast this again and hit save. Okay, so I saved the changes. Let's use this photo on my device. I'll select an emoji and let's use this one. And if I do double tap, you can see that the image is increasing with the spring animation. And if I double tap again, it's decreasing. Very cool. Now, apart from this gesture, we also want the user to be able to drag and drop the sticker. Um, so we can do that as well by keeping track of the image position X and position Y, and we can use a shared value for that. So we are going to start X zero and Y zero. And then down here, we want to move the entire view, right? So let's change this to be an animated view. And I'll close this with animated view as well. Now let's create a gesture for dragging. And this is how it looks. I'm using the gesture pan on change. And this is going to detect when the user is dragging and it's going to return an event, which is going to contain the new position X and new position Y. Then I can use this new position to set the translate X and Y values. So this is going to start at zero, but as soon as I start moving this around, this is going to add the new position on X and Y to these values. Once we have these values, we can create a new um, style, animated style using the animated style. And we are going to use the transform property of the style. This is going to take two objects. The first one is going to be translating this on the X axis and the other one on the Y axis, just passing the values that we are getting from this drag. Now let's come here and add an array of styles. This is going to be container style. Um, and this style is going to remain the same. And similarly at what we did with this gesture detector, we can simply copy and wrap the entire view in a gesture detector. So let me close this tag down here. But instead of having the double tap, I want to handle the drag in this one. So let's go ahead and hit save. And now let's see if this works. I'm double tapping. And if I press and drag, you can see that this is working very nicely. And whenever I, you know, release this, uh, it's going to remain in that position. Pretty cool. By the way, we can replace this by selecting a new emoji. So if we want to change that, we can do that. And double tap to make it smaller, double tap to make it bigger. And this works very nicely. Great work. You've now learned how to implement gestures using React Native Gesture Handler, allowing users to double tap to scale and pan to move the emoji sticker. Plus, you explored how to animate gesture states with the reanimated library. I hope you like this chapter and I'll see you in the next one.